The final stage in this demonstration is to load or using TrueCrypt's terminology to mount the volume I created earlier. Launch the TrueCrypt program and when it loads, the first thing you have to do is to select the drive you want to associate with the TrueCrypt volume. In my case, I've selected the drive letter M. Next, select the volume and finally hit the mount button. You will be asked to enter the password for the volume and this is the password we gave when we created the volume. Press OK and if you've entered the correct password, you have a drive M. This drive is just like any normal drive. You can create files, you can copy files, you can delete files. But rather than resigning on your hard disk directly, these files will reside within the volume. If you recall, when we created a volume, we specified its size. And the amount of data you can store within the volume is limited by its size. Once you've finished using the volume, you shut it down or you dismount it by clicking the appropriate button. If you look at the Windows taskbar notification area, you will see that TrueCrypt has an icon and you have the option to right click and select functionality from there. One area I would like to visit is the preferences option. Here amongst other things you can mount volumes as read only and another option is to have TrueCrypt start automatically. One interesting feature is favorite volume and what I will demonstrate now is how to set a volume so that it is in your favorite. Favorite volumes are those which you mount regularly and you can automate the process so that you do not have to manually select the volume and mount it as we did earlier. So, to set a volume as being a favorite, mount it, but this time, after having mounted it, choose from the volumes menu the option so that all mounted volumes are placed in your favorites list. From this point onwards, you can mount this volume automatically. I am now going to unmount and mount favorite volume. Here I mark for the password and again if I do not want to have to enter the password each and every time I mount the volume I can instruct TrueCrypt to memorize it. Note that every time you restart the computer the password will not remain in memory and therefore there is no possibility that a hacker can sweep through your hard disk for the password. 